Welcome to our official song bracket for Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign's new collab album, Vultures. There's perfectly 16 songs on the album, so all 16 will go head to head, and there will only be one winner by the end of our bracket. And before we actually get started with this video, if you guys want to access more Vultures content from us, we actually did an exclusive audio podcast episode on things you may have missed from the Vultures album, such as hidden samples, theories about the album, songs that are in limbo from the vultures era and much more so if you guys want to access that hit the link in our pinned comment or in our description but Ant, let's get into this 16 songs like i said um a lot of different favorites from people i know that we have different favorites when it comes to the album but yes, we do let's see what ends up happening all right and nick's gonna be our tiebreaker if he needs to come in first matchup carnival versus fuck summon um pretty good matchup because you have two trap anthems and cardi is on both of these songs. Yeah, Playboy Cardi has credits on each of these songs. And if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm going Carnival. This was an easy matchup for me. Um, I feel like you're getting the better Playboy Cardi performance on there. I feel like you get the better production on Carnival as well. Um, yes, you do get Travis Scott on Fuck Some, but I don't know. I just feel like i rather get that Rich the Kid feature over the Travis Scott feature, if I'm being honest with you. That might be a hot take, but I feel like Rich the Kid did have a better feature than Travis on this album. Yeah, I feel like the only thing that I can maybe say over time will age better on Fuck Summon is maybe the hook, just because the whole, like, go, go, go. Like, I, I fuck with that on um, on Carnival, but I don't know if, if it's going to, like, get old at a certain point. Um, I also, I don't know if you picked up on this. It sounded like Cuddy was humming on Fuck Summon. Like, there was someone mm, humming. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it was Travis maybe back in. Maybe it was Travis. Because... I know Travis does have backing vocals on maybe one of the pre-choruses, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. I have to go back and genius but, to check it out, but I think it was Travis vocals. Ultimately, though, I do agree. I think Carnival, like you said, better production. Um, the beat's next level on that song. Absolutely. Um, all right, let's go on to the next two. Okay, so this is where Back to Me versus Vulture is going to go head-to-head. -head. Um, two songs that were highly anticipated for this album. Uh, back to Me was cool because... That little part of like Kanye's interpolation um, was actually going viral on TikTok before it actually reached the album. So I knew automatically people were going to gravitate towards it. And then after that, you got Vultures back in November of 2023. I think from a pure rapping standpoint, I'd probably go Vultures. But overall, I much prefer Back to Me. I think Back to Me is one of the catchiest songs on the entire album. I love the drums on the pro on the song as well. It gives me like that Life of Pablo sort of vibe. And uh, I'm just going to be going back to the song all kinds this year. Yeah, I I honestly, I don't think any of these songs are going to win the bracket either way. But um, ultimately, yeah, I've spoken about Vultures and how I feel like it's a mid song. Honestly, I'm surprised surprised that they even chose it as the lead single and did so much promotion centered on one of the weaker songs on the album i probably would have done carnival low key. yeah absolutely carnival been an absolute yeah imagine slapper. starting off like the rollout with like the carnival music video and that single being pushed that would have been insane but absolutely back to me is, a, is such a fun song it's better it really than vultures is. okay let's go on to the next one okay and this is going to be a big matchup because i think you know some of the songs that we just went over might make it quite far into this bracket now we have burn versus king all right so what's interesting with burn is obviously people are talking about it as like this old late reg song but you also get the outro the outro which is king and kanye's usually really good with his outros if you go through all of his projects usually his albums start off uh sorry should i say end off on a really positive note but in my opinion King is not necessarily the strongest closer for the album itself. And if I have to look at this matchup, it's easily going to burn. Like, there is no I, I, I think Kanye and Ty could have easily left King off like entirely from the track list. Um, sure, you get a cool manic performance from Ye, but like the production's like one chord. It gets stale really quick. Um, and it just felt like a, a forced track to me. So this is a wash. All right. Burn, absolute wash. Let's keep going on with this. Let's go on to another matchup. Stars versus pro uh, Problematic, excuse me. Um, So Stars is the intro of the album versus Problematic, which is one of the more rap-centric songs off of the album where you're getting some of the best verses of the album. And to be honest with you, this is another wipe for me. It's going straight to Problematic. And to be honest with you, this is probably going to be one of the hardest matchups of the entire bracket. It's going to be Burn versus Problematic. Oh, that's wow. A, that's, gonna that's, be a, that's a serious one. That is a fucking that's serious gonna matchup. That's going to be interesting. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. But uh, ultimately, Problematic washes stars also. But next up, we have Talking versus Keys to My Life. This is actually a pretty good matchup. Um, I feel like we sort of rated them in our tier list that we did on the main channel mm -hmm. on similar playing fields. Um, two of the more serious introspective cuts on the album. Um, genius creative sample flipping definitely on Keys to My Life um, with uh, that Wu-Tang sample that really blew me away. I'm going to go Keys to My Life. Um, I prefer the rapping performances yeah. on it. The only thing that you could probably give the talking is like how dynamic the production is because it's one of those songs on the album that has those two different sides to it. But ultimately, we're going Keys to My Life on yeah, this Yeah, that one. song just like an emotional roller coaster from 
from start to end. I, love I think it, it's man. one of the best songs off the album, if I'm being honest with yeah. you. It's yeah. one of my favorites. It's, it's really strong. It's definitely strong. But next up, Paperwork versus Hood Rat. Time to have a mid-off. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to go with here? <laughs> well, listen, I think we just did our tier list. We yeah. just recorded We kind of know where we're yeah, going Yeah, we know where we're going with this. going to go to Paperwork. I feel like the production is a lot better on this song than on Hood Rat. And yeah, maybe the artist performances are kind of equal to each other on both of these songs. But I mean, I don't think I'm ever going back to Hood Rats, if I'm being honest with you. Unless they completely change the production and like remaster What if it. just the mixing is fixed? Would that be enough? Not for me. It's how many me. times they repeat that Hood Rat sample at the beginning of the song. It just automatically disengages yeah, you from the first 15 seconds. So I'm out of there with this one. Paperwork is going to be yep. advancing. Let's keep going on Beg with this. Beg forgiveness versus Good Don't Die. Um, I know that you feel really strongly about Good Don't Die. Is it better to you, though, no, than uh, Beg Forgiveness? Oh, it's beg, not. Beg Forgiveness is easily one of the best songs off the album. So is Good Don't Die, but I think the production is better on Beg Forgiveness. I also think that you're getting a lot more of an emotional and in-depth performance from Chris Brown and co. off of Beg Forgiveness. Um, I feel like maybe as the album starts to age on, Beg Forgiveness is going to be seen as the best song on the album, to be honest with you. Um, from a melodic standpoint, it's the best track off the album. So we're going to go Beg Forgiveness. To me, yeah, to me, it feels like the climax of the whole album because it is the longest track and it feels like the stakes are never as high as they are on uh, Beg Forgiveness just because of that sensational buildup and the mysteriousness that the production has. Incredible song. It To me, it definitely beats Good Don't Die. But the last matchup of our first round... Paid versus Do It. This is easy for me too. Two of the biggest like dance club banger type tracks, but it's easy, easily, easily paid for you. It's gonna be easily paid for me. Yeah. Um, well, I think the production's <sighs> a lot more interesting on Paid. Um, I love the groove to it. I love how heavy it sounds. Um, Do It is cool. It's just that like, I don't know. It it, it feels not a bit empty, but. It's one of those tracks that I don't really see myself going back to all that much on the album. I feel like there's a lot more interesting tracks off of the project itself. So that's why I want to go with Paige. The only reason why I'm struggling is because, to me, when I look at every single performance on both of these songs, Ye easily has the worst one. Like, it, it sounded like he was fucking around on Paid with the high-pitched inflections and the You the see, I like flows. it. I like the experimenting with it. And I really like, like, the high-pitched uh, high pitched vocals. I do. But ultimately, I'm going Paid with it. This is not even up for debate, Lou. Come on. It is get up serious. for debate. Get serious. Bro. Okay, get fuck it. I, I guess we'll go Paid. But <laughs> that could have maybe gone either way for me, low-key. I really enjoyed no Do way. It. But okay, let's go on to round two. This is where things are going to start getting interesting. Carnival versus Back to Me. Um, where are we going with this one? Interesting. Carnival versus Back to Me. I think, listen, in my heart, I want to say Back to Me, and it's probably the song I'm going to revisit the most, but I think we're going to have to go Carnival. With but which song, song has... the? <laughs> this is what Back to Me has. Back to Me has the better hook from Ty and the best verse out of the bunch with Freddie Gibbs. But that doesn't make a complete song. Car well, which, which Carnival production, is, Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, which production do you prefer, though? Carnival. Absolutely. Because you, 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 you know why? Are when, when, I, when I listen to Carnival, yeah, you're right, absolutely. But when I listen to Carnival, I cannot compare that to any beat in Kanye's catalog. Like, sure, oh. it has the grandioseness of like stadium songs on graduation, but it's not comparable to any other beat. That's true. And arguably, the features, like, as a whole, because Freddie has the best feature on the album, but that, that Rich the Kid and Playboy Cardi feature are fucking crazy. And honestly, what I liked about it too is that Ty Dolla Sign got out of his comfort zone. Um, for that song. It's one of the only songs where he's giving you a pure rapping performance. Well, and I think it's one of the best, like, energetic Kanye performances as well. The way From that he everybody. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, okay, we'll go Carnival. Carnival, for sure. Yeah, let's go into the next one. This is going to be Burn versus Problematic. So this is going to be a tough one. So one of the best songs off the album is getting cut on this. Yeah. All right, and we're probably going to see one of these songs in the final, if I'm being honest with you. So what do you prefer? Because Burn is kind of like the obvious answer, but I think you can make a big case for Problematic making it through. Yeah, um, I've spoken about Problematic quite a bit. Bit. I just, again, when it comes to this being a collab album, this is maybe one of the better examples of how great they can work together with them finishing each other's sentences on the song. Um, to me, it's my favorite beat. Hearing Kanye on Triumphant Horns was incredible for, like, I guess the middle section of the song. Um, I just, I, I love everything about the track, but when I look at something like Burn, <sighs> there, there's less to nitpick at. I feel I like I also think that when you look back at this album and just Vultures, the version one, people are going to remember the album for Burn probably. That's going to be like one like that, the carnivals and like, you know, probably, yeah, that, the carnivals. And I would even say what other songs are probably going to be like the Beg standard. Forgiveness for sure. Beg Forgiveness. 
yeah, you, so that's it. Like, I could go either way with this one. Even uh, Back to Me is going to be a memorable song for the track list. I could go either way, but I feel like if I really had to... I'm going Burn. Yeah. If I, if I, if I had to remove, like, my bias out of it and what I, what I, I just connect to it the most, it's going to be Burn. All right. Um, continue with this? Let's keep on going. Next up, we now have... Keys to My Life versus Paper. There it so. is. Um, this, okay, is, this is an easy one. I don't, I don't know if yeah. we even go to debate <laughs> no, this, bro. No, no, no. We're going to keys to my life. Yeah, for sure. Do you think that life. like it gives me that this song gives me crazy like the life of Pablo vibes? This is like the life of Pablo for sure. Yeah, that's like that introspective sort of like Kanye talking about Kim Kardashian, the vocal sample and back, the production uh, actually, going yeah, all over the place. Absolutely, it's definitely up there. But okay, let's end this off with the last matchup for round two, and that's going to be beg for forgiveness versus paid easy money. Easy money, yeah, beg easy money forgiveness. On one, yeah, but let for me sure. ask you this: Which one has more replay value? Because I would go with paid for replay yeah, value. Why? Just because it's an easier no. song to bump. Yeah, I, I don't because you see, like I, I love bumping emotional songs and like so, so do nice I. slow slow tracks. You know, like but you, I feel you like know I'm what it is? In the like, car. Yeah, go for it. In the car, I'm gonna go beg forgiveness more for sure. I, like you that's see, what I was like gonna say is that like I feel like I'll play paid more because it's more accessible like in public settings and shit, but. The times that I'll play Beg Forgiveness, Beg Forgiveness, I'll enjoy those listens more than the paid listens. So, um, yeah, easily Beg Forgiveness. But now we're in the final fucking four, and this was maybe kind of predictable. The only one that yeah. I, that kind of went far was Keys to My Life. I'm telling you, it's one of the strongest songs off the album, though. So you Problematic like, should have been there, though. For, in my yeah, opinion, think so? I think it's definitely a top. But song. it went, yeah, but it went versus burn though. Yeah. That's the problem. You're not like that's the that, that's the tricky part about brackets is that you're going to be bound to have upsets like going into like the later <sighs> rounds. But okay, let's do the first one. Okay, Carnival versus Burn. This so is you have a mega tough banger one. versus like the best rapping performance. But I'm a rap head, dude. I'm going to go burn. I'm a man. rap head too, but ultimately yeah, it's like head. for me it's like burn. Carnival at face value might be the more impressive song, and I'll tell you why. Again. Going back to the fact that you never got to be like that in Connie's catalog. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the most anthemic songs we've gotten in hip hop in the longest fucking time. Um, another reason, again, them trying out something different. Ty Dolla Sign going into a different bag. The, the features being on 10, Rich the Kid and Cardi giving you the performances of their lives. Whereas Burn, as fantastic as it is, it's very short. You could have maybe used an extra verse. It's something that you're used to getting from them. Ah. <sighs> Like I prefer burn, but when I'm looking at it at face value, too, so it's like, like what's even the, I know I get because carnival what you're is a bit more the, impressive. Okay, the, yeah, I get what when, you're when, I, when I go into the perspective of like a music nerd, I'm like uh, carnival. But yes, I think we're gonna go with burn because even if we were to bring this to Nick, I think he could he can confirm like that when he would we go first heard that. Yeah, when we oh, he says maybe. Maybe. We need to, should we summon you, you Lord could, Nick? You could bring it here if you <laughs> want. Okay, let me bring it to Nick. Look, Carnival, yeah, go. We're summoning Lord Burn, Nick. baby. Yeah, Burn. You know, I, honestly, I just did that to get Nick's, uh, Nick's take. But, um, oh, of course. Even when we heard yeah. like that, uh, piece, you know, you had showed me that uh, that snippet from Nick the, had the, showed the, from, us, yeah, from yeah. the LP. Fuck, dude. I, 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 I thought it was fake. I, I didn't even think he was he was able to like do that ever again. And to be honest with you, it's definitely going to be one of my favorites off the album as time goes on. But okay, let's wrap this up with Keys to My Life versus Beg Forgiveness. I'm sorry, Keys. It's time to go. It's time to get. It's time to get Keys out of here. Like even like this was like, the easiest semifinal maybe ever in a fucking bracket. No, bro. the carnival. No, no, no. I think the carnival pick was hard though. No, no, the, no. I'm saying I'm saying just that oh, part of the the semi yes, match. Yes, yeah. Yes, no, the yes, carnival yes. was tough. Carnival burn was not easy. Um, but okay, burn versus beg forgiveness. This is a tough one. <sighs> So you have the best like melodic performance on the album versus again the best rapping performance on the album. And to be honest with you, I like these tracks equally as much. I'm being completely honest with you. Me and, too, man. Uh, production wise, I probably go beg forgiveness. If I'm being honest with you, I think it's a bit more dynamic of a production. Uh, Burn plays a bit more into like Kanye's safe space, if that makes sense to you. He's rapped on these types of beats before. The rapping performance though itself is better is, on is Burn. Better on Burn. Um, um, the production, we said beg forgiveness. I will say this. It's not a major nitpick. I, I do find myself being more engaged throughout Burn when I'm listening to Beg Forgiveness. Not that I'm disengaged, but like... It's the, a slower burn. Yeah, it's a slower burn. The Chris Brown um, refrain is is played out quite a bit. Um, when it comes to just what song is offering you more... Damn. I kind of want to go Burn with this. I, 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 I get what you're saying, though. Honestly, this is a really solid Beg Forgiveness is incredible, uh, I, I know. I think we're going to go burn with it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go we'll go burn, burn ultimately. With it. it's, it's, we'll go burn. It's why I started listening to him, to be honest with you. It's these types of performances. It's like... It's it, so you it, can't it's beat that, the vintage that, Kanye. Yeah, you, you can't. can't beat that. You know? It gives you like that battery in your back. Yeah. So listen, guys. Burn is going to win today's bracket. And honestly, I think that's fair. I it think is. It's, I think it it's is. fair. I think it's the best song on the album. A lot of the best songs did make a late run and a late push throughout this bracket. But what was the biggest snub here for you? Probably problematic, right? 
right? Problematic should have been uh, at least semi-final. Uh, but team. it got beat out by the winner of the bracket, though. Yeah, it was why. just kind of like look at the draw. So, guys, let us know where we got it right. Let us know where we got it wrong. And which bracket would you guys like to see next from us? Thank you so much for watching this, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.